Hello, everyone. My name is Yi Jiao Hao. Today, I would like to present my research on CRISPR-Cas system of target effects and its possible solutions. Please allow me to share my screen first. Here we go. So here's the content I will be presenting today. And I would like to start my presentation with an introduction to CRISPR. Then I will provide an overview of the development of the CRISPR-Cas system and explain the basic structure and mechanism of the CRISPR-Cas system. Next, I will introduce the off-target effects. Then in my discussion, I will share some proposed solutions to off-target effects. Lastly, I would like to finish my presentation with the conclusion and future research directions. First of all, I think most people have heard of gene editing. Indeed, with the advancement of science and technology, gene editing has become a trending research topic for addressing genetic disorders, extending lifespan, and achieving agricultural progress through genetic engineering. So among the technique used to edit genome, CRISPR, which stands for Cluster Regularly Interspace Short Palindromic Repeats, is the most widely utilized gene editing technique due to its simplicity, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness. The Cas9 enzyme is used most often for cutting DNA in the CRISPR-Cas9 system. However, the Cas9 protein does not always cleave the wanted target sites, leading to the occurrence of off-target effects. So off-target effects are a critical e issue that needs to be addressed in optimizing the CRISPR-Cas9 system. Despite off-target effects, the CRISPR-Cas9 system provides numerous benefits and applications. This presentation will present an approach for minimizing off-target effects and enhancing the effectiveness of CRISPR editing, particularly from the standpoint of a single guide RNA in optimizing CRISPR-Cas9 knockout efficiency. Now, I would like to review the development of the CRISPR-Cas9 system. In 1987, Yoshizumi Ishino discovered the CRISPR system while investigating a gene involved in alkaline phosphatase conversion in E. coli. In 1993, Francisco Mojica discovered similar palindromic sequences in archaeo and bacterial genomes and named them CRISPR. In 2005, Mojica discovered that the spacer sequence in CRISPR matches the DNA sequence in a particular virus and hypothesized that this sequence performed as an adaptive immune system against viral infection in prokaryotes. In 2012, Jennifer Dobna and Emmanuel Charpentier reprogrammed the CRISPR mechanism and employed it as a gene editing tool in vitro. In 2013, Feng Jiang modified the CRISPR-Cas9 system for eukaryotic cell gene editing. Then in 2020, Dao Na and Charpentier were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for their contribution to the field of genetics. So these discoveries have created a significant impact on the biotechnology field. And the application of CRISPR is rising as more scientists study it. This figure is the fundamental Cas9 single guide RNA nucleus complex. CRISPR Cas9 is a bacterial immune system used for gene editing. It consists of a single guide RNA and the CRISPR associated endonucleus, which is the Cas9 protein. The single guide RNA is a series of repeating DNA sequences separated by unique spacers that directs the CRISPR-Cas9 system to cleave the target DNA sequence. The single guide RNA is composed of a 20 nucleotide RNA sequence and the tracer RNA that recruits the Cas9 nucleus to the target site. Cas9 is a type of CRISPR-associated protein that is responsible for cutting DNA. It is guided by the single guide RNA to the precise location on the genome where it should make a cut. 
the single guide RNA recognizes specific DNA sequences, and Cas9 cleaves the DNA at those sites, allowing for the insertion or deletion of genetic material. So the mechanism of the CRISPR-Cas9 system can be summarized in four steps. The first step is the recognition of foreign DNA. The second step is the cleavage of foreign DNA. The third step involves integrating a unique spacer into the CRISPR array. And the final step is the activation of the CRISPR-Cas system. So despite CRISPR's benefit, the technology itself has shortcomings that could lead to potential negative effects, such as the off-target effects. So off-target effects in CRISPR refer to unintended cleavage of DNA sequences that are similar but not identical to the target sequence. Various factors can contribute to off-target effects, including length and composition of the single-guide RNA efficiency of single-guide RNA-DNA binding, specificity of the Cas9 nucleus, and chromatin state and DNA accessibility at target or off-target sites. Off-target effects can result in unintended mutations or other negative effects on the target organism, making it a significant concern for gene editing application. So, Researchers now are working on developing more accurate CRISPR systems for identifying the presence of off-target effects before and after gene editing to address the risk of off-targeting. Knowing the cause of off-target effects, proposing a solution to reduce the risk of such effects becomes critical. One approach is to design and use more specific guide RNAs, which can recognize and bind to the target DNA with higher specificity, since guide RNAs indicate the location where the cut should be made. Bioinformatic tools, such as the CRISPR design software, can identify sgRNA with high specificity and low off-target potential. Specificity and efficiency of guide RNAs can be tested using um, DNA sequencing and T7 endonuclease 1 assay. Indel information can also be measured to assess the efficiency of the CRISPR Cas9 system at the target site. Another approach to address this off target issue is to modify the Cas enzyme used in the system such as the high-fidelity SPCAS9 HF1 variant, which has a higher affinity for its target DNA sequence and the reduced ability to bind to off-target sites. Shorter single-guide RNAs can also be used to reduce the number of potential off-target sites, but the optimal length for maximum specificity is still being researched. Chemical modifications can also be made to sgRNAs to increase their stability and specificity, and therefore reduce off-target effects. For instance, two prime OME modifications can enhance the stability of the RNA molecule and increase its resistance to degradation by cellular nucleases. The use of delivery method that can limit the exposure of cells is a third solution for reducing off-target effects in the CRISPR-Cas system. The delivery system can affect parameters such as the uptake efficiency, the amount of Cas9 and single-guide RNA delivered, the duration and level of their expression, and their intracellular localization. The lentiviral vector system is commonly used to deliver the component to target cells, but it can lead to off-target effects due to prolonged Cas9 expression. So the use of a self-complementary adeno-associated virus vector system can reduce the duration of Cas9 expression and minimize off-target effects. Additionally, cell-specific promoters can be used to limit the expression of Cas9 to target cells, reducing off-target effects by avoiding Cas9 expression in non-target cells. 
Last but not least, I will go over the main point of this presentation. CRISPR-Cas9 is a gene editing tool used to modify DNA of organism. Some possible solutions to off-target effects include improving single-guide RNA design to increase specificity, using high-fidelity Cas enzymes, using truncated single-guide RNA, introducing modification to Cas enzyme or single-guide RNA, and applying delivery system that targets specific cells or tissues. Combining these strategies may provide optimal solutions, but the approach should be case-specific. Therefore, developing a universally applicable solution to reduce off-target effects should be included in the future direction of genetic engineering. The CRISPR-Cas system is undoubtedly a powerful tool that can help detect and address many genetically predisposed diseases. However, there are technical limitations like off-target effects and legal and ethical considerations. So as the increasing application of the CRISPR-Cas system in healthcare, regulation and policies should be drafted to prevent abuse of the technology by those with access to it. Here's my reference page. And that will be the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. Feel free to email me if you have any question. Thank you again.